Hey, Sava here, CEO and co-founder at Pieces, uh, making a video on one of the coolest things that went out to production on Friday inside of Pieces OS, and that is MCP support. So you know what that means. That means that you can integrate the long-term memory that Pieces is holding uh, and all the real-time context that Pieces is aware of directly into your favorite tools. So anything that supports MCP could be Claude Desktop, uh, ChatGPT Desktop, Cursor, GitHub Copilot, Windsurf, whatever it might be. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick the power of long-term memory and our long-term memory agent combined with MCP um, and what it looks like in these tools. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to connect Cursor to Pieces OS via MCP, and it's pretty dead simple. Um, so what we're going to do is going to go over to the toolbar, click on the Pieces logo, and we're going to go down to this new section, Model Context Protocol. This is the URL that you're going to be wanting to, to look for, right? You're going to copy that to your clipboard. Um, and over in Cursor, all you have to do to set up MCP is go over to your settings, go to MCP, and click this Add New Global MCP Server. So in here, you're going to get some JSON. Uh, I've got mine prepared, so let me go ahead and copy that, and we're going to get into the demo. Let me paste this in. Fantastic. Now that's it. That's all you have to do. Pieces is connected and we're going to see what the cursor agent can do with long term memory. So to kind of give you a sense, uh, we're going to do a first demo on how pieces preserves information from last week, earlier today, um, and now can feed that to the cursor agent autonomously to give a better idea of what the user intent is as the cursor agent is working. So my question is, why didn't we ship Gemini 2.5 in this release? This is going to be pulling context from last week as well as this morning, and we'll see if Cursor is able to determine that on its own. And you can see it did a MCP, cool, uh, MCP tool call, excuse me, and we've got a kind of primary question, some related questions, and some sources. And right away it says, you know, uh, first and foremost, there's some stability concerns because the model is in experimental status. There's some quota limitations, and as of right now, we're using Gemini 2.0. Uh, so pretty powerful on its ability to get context from the outside world across your entire desktop and then use that inside of the cursor agent. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is a quick demo on getting something specific, for example, like the link to the, the Gemini console. Um, so I'll open up the desktop app here. I'm going to go ahead and paste this question, which is, can you resurface the URL Mark sent me uh, for the model in Google Cloud Console? Um, I remember I looked at it earlier in the week, but let's see what Pieces is able to do here. Fantastic. So same type of experience in the desktop app. Uh, it has that link, which is deep linked right here. And yes, this is the one I was looking at. So pretty fantastic. Um, and whether it's in the desktop or whether it's the cursor, cursor agent itself, it has access to this long-term memory um, as well as real-time context across your operating system. So pretty powerful uh, for cursor to be able to dig back nine months ago, pull up information on errors you ran into, conversations you had, and, and research you might have done in the browser um, and elsewhere. Uh, so yeah, that is a quick demo there. And just to verify for all of you watching, let's go ahead and open up the discussion itself. And let's see. So, yep, I asked him a question. Is Gemini uh, 2.5 not in this release? Mark said, nope, it's still experimental. Um, and we have some, some uh, the model that we actually added, Gemini 2.0 Flash. And then, yeah, some limited quotas. So really, really great to see. And there is that deep link that I asked the desktop app for. Um, the same exact link. So really, really powerful. Wrapping things up, uh, we're pretty excited for folks out there to try MCP with their favorite tool. You know, again, whether it's Claude Desktop, Goose, Klein, Cursor, GitHub Copilot, uh, you know, ChatGPT Desktop, let us know how it goes. We're super interested. And uh, we think that the power of long-term memory in, in the context, pun intended, of these tools is a game changer. So let us know how it goes. Send us feedback. And as always, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate the support and the community. We're going to keep trucking along. Cheers.